The Honorable Minister of Women Affairs, Her Excellency Dame Pauline K. Tallinn, as it has always been her passion to see to a greater leap in girl child education, saw the need to commemorate the International Girls in ICT Day 2021 with the Government Girls Science Secondary School, Dusi Makarantang Abuja, on the 22nd April 2021. The theme for the commemoration tagged Connecting Girls Create Brighter Future, according to the Minister, is appropriate as girls' participation in information communication technology will add value to the nation and encourage women to take lead and excellent space in science and technology aspects. Dignitaries alongside Her Excellency and representative from NITDA, UNFPA, National President for Women in ICT FCT Chapter and the Nigerian Communication Commission, Digital Bridge Institute, encourage the pupils in the school on the need to partake and take professional parts in ICT as the world is fast changing totally into a global village. And also, they should take their rightful place in impacting and shaping the future. The GDSS student received the minister with cultural display alongside a robotic experiment on how to curb traffic issues such as accidents in the nation. According to one of the students, Umenu Chiaza, the inspiration of the robot prototype came from the knowledge of the hike in road accident caused by traffic issues and hope this experiment will be utilized in the nearest future. My name is Umano Chiaza. I'm a SIA student. I'm an SS1D. What inspired me is the death rates of motor accidents across the world is really disturbing me because people die yearly when they are moving in vehicle, when they are when vehicular movements occurs. So what inspired us with this robot traffic is to control the traffic to reduce the death rates. The minister during her speech finally called on all stakeholders to collaborate with the ministry in creating awareness to girls to follow a career path in information communication technology. The technology drives the world. What we cannot do, we want our children to do it. And I can see that you can. Say yes, I can. Do you believe in yourself that you can do it? Yes. Okay. The ball is in your court. The opportunities are there. Government is ready to support the uh, girl child, particularly in this field of the sciences. The girl child is the greatest asset that this country can have. And the education of the girl child is given all the necessary attention I'm here today to appeal to you to do all that you can to take your studies more seriously because you are the future hope of this nation. You are the future mothers that will bring up the future leaders of this country. And without education, you can't perform that role effectively. The impact of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to the nation's economy is no doubt enormous. Education creates all the critical thinking that the girl needs. The federal government of Nigeria, through all relevant agencies, we have did that here. We have uh, NCC here. The entire parastatus of Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy are here with us to celebrate with you. This is for you to know that government is giving so much attention to the education of the girl child in ICT. I sincerely thank the honorable, my colleague, the Honorable Minister of Communication, uh, Sheikh Ali Bantami, for this collaboration we're having. Please take back my sincere appreciation to him. We'll continue to work together to promote and encourage more girls into ICT and in the sciences. As a country, we must change the narrative. I call on all stakeholders to join hard with the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs to continue to create the necessary awareness in schools across the country for girls to pursue discipline in science and technology. The role of the parents and teachers in ensuring that children, especially the girl child, are properly guided to engage in STEM education cannot be overemphasized. Parents should start early to dismiss the notion among the girls, among children, especially the girl child, that science is tough for girls. No. At least you can see that your science teachers, we have girls, well, we are women. So if science is tough, 
we won't have a female teacher teaching mathematics and other science subjects. If she can do it, yes, you can. Zainab Ahmed, Voice TV, Nigeria.